All right, hey, so this is gonna be the first video on my little discussion channel, and this was sort of targeted by, a, a, or, or this was uh, inspired by a few other, you know, determining things, I guess you could call them. Um, and the whole purpose of this video is going to be this whole uh, VR craze that's going on right now. So what's the deal with VR? And I'm in, and this is gonna be my own opinion on this. Um, you can disagree with it, you can agree with it, whatever. Um, I don't care. So I'm just gonna go on and uh, say what I think this is. So at least my, 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 my main idea for this right now is that I think that VR isn't really gonna take off like a lot of people think it will. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm thinking that these companies don't even think that it's really gonna take off either. I think this is just something they're sort of doing for publicity so they might make money somewhere down the road or it, something like that. And what I think VR is going to be is it's going to be like what FMV was in the 90s. You know, it's, oh, it's the future of gaming. It's the, it's the best thing ever. We, you know, uh, and everyone's sort of like secretly, yeah, but deep down they're laughing at it. And then 10 years later, they're blatantly laughing at it. So it's sort of like, I mean, yes, this is great. This is a great technology. It could really help in a lot of areas outside of gaming. And that's great. And I think it's definitely going to accomplish that. But in the world of gaming and um it, um if you if you know of the channel review tech usa that's one of the videos or that's one of the channels that inspired this right here um he did say um that if someone's you know and he, and he says something along the lines of this if someone comes home you know they're working 40 hours a week they don't want to like you know put on a virtual reality headset and flop around in their living room or or bedroom like a dumbass they want to sit down, they want to sit on a couch and play video games the way they were meant to be played and, and you know, stuff like that. So I don't know if this is really going to take off in in the gaming industry is, you know, as much as people think it will. And then there's, of course, the uh, more um, lewd uh, applications people are going to use virtual reality for, which, okay, man, whatever floats your boat, go ahead. Um, it ain't my fucking problem. So it's it's sort of like... I really do think that virtual reality does have a place, but I don't necessarily think that it's in the gaming industry because, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, at the end of the day, people just want to come home to, you know, their preferred platform of choice, whether it be, you know, console or PC or potato. They just want to, like, play games and they want to sit or lay down and relax and just have a good time. That's how it's been for the past, you know, however many years. And that's how I, that's, 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 you know, sure as hell how I like it. You know, I, I want to get home. I want to, you know, boot up the PC or boot up fucking Dreamcast. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me as long as the games are good, you know, but I just want to, you know, relax. I don't want to, you know, flop around like a dumbass. It's like what happened with the Kinect and the Kinect is a perfect example for this because VR could end up like what happened to the Kinect. Sort of a thing that's like, holy shit, that's really cool, and people get really hyped up over it. Oh, you are the controller. And then all of a sudden they get it, and it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to put that down. And then five months later you see it, and they're like, oh, I'm, I might play that again. And then you play it for ten minutes, and you're tired already. And you put it down again, and, you know, the cycle repeats. That's what the Kinect was for me. At first, I played it for like a couple of days. And I really thought it was cool and, you know, it was fun and blah, blah, blah. But then it faded. It faded and I didn't care about it anymore. And I really do think that that's what's going to happen with VR in the gaming industry. Um, but outside of the gaming industry, the it, it, the things that you can apparently use um, on this thing for, you know, in the in the medical field... At least what I've heard, you know, that's what I've heard that you can use this for uh, some medical shit. I could be talking out of my ass. I don't know. Um, but I, you know, I, it could definitely help people in, in certain regards if that's the truth. So um, I'll have to do some more research on that and I'll uh, update on that. But yeah, that's just my general thoughts on um, VR headsets and VR stuff and all of that stuff and I'm not really going to get into the price or anything like that because we all know it's going to be you know expensive and you're going to need to have at least a you know mid-range to high-end PC to run this stuff and blah 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 but I'm not going to really get into that so um I hope you like this um and I do plan to actually keep this channel going because I always like having little discussions like this and you know talking 
to, well, essentially myself, kind of. It's, it's nice to let these things out and, you know, have other people watch it. And then maybe I'll have a reason to uh, talk directly to you guys through these videos. So um, I guess this is the beginning of something that might be really cool. It might end up like VR. No one cares. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, see you guys some other time.